So this is going to be the first test of the freshly rewired and restored uh, Zenith Cobramatic Changer. This has been fully polished up. New cartridge there. So I'll go ahead and pop the protector off. Still needs the tracking weight adjusted. The gauge is going to get in tomorrow, I believe. Yep. Okay. Well, lovely assistant. Plug in the power. I'm nervous. Well, again, it's a GFCI. Okay. Power is plugged in, and the wires are not heating up. So that's good news. Do you see the tube starting to glow? I'm not seeing any tubes glowing. Oh, here, let's see. Is, is there a master power switch? Oh. I hear were. We get no speedy speed. Check on a record I don't care about. This isn't even mine. This is not how you properly treat records. It is not spinning. I'm going to do it manually by hand. Wait. I mean, I hear it. <laughs> it just clicked. What the hell? What is it? Zenus? What are you doing? Wait, why is it going through its changer rigmarole again and again? Look. So it just brought itself back over there, but it's still engaged. Hey, why is it doing that? Of course, the turnover isn't dropping down because the Tracking's not set. Yeah, it just went back up. Yeah. Moments. What the hell? we know the amp and the speakers work motor um because if you listen to that yeah it that is. that sounds like it stalled to me hang on cut power i wonder if we can like break the motor loose if that's what it is what's the smell you think you're funny. No, I'm being serious, actually. I don't smell anything. You don't smell anything? Now what do you smell? Let's see. Could it be the heating up tubes? Hmm. Oh, God, I got away for that. You smell it now? <laughs> what is that? It's burning something. Uh, tubes are certainly hot, so those are working. It might just be the tubes heating up. For the first time? Uh, yeah, and all the dust burning off of it, or the dust heating up, like whenever you turn on a... Uh, so a space heater after it's been abandoned for a long time? Yep, yep. But can you kind of stick your arm up in the record player and see if you can dislodge the motor? I think it maybe it's stalled or stuck. Which one was the worst um, 
Given that it's an idler wheel driven mechanism, any motor from any BSR turntable is likely to work. I'm trying to spin it, it's not really doing anything though. But do you think it's the motor's just stuck? I don't you know, I'm not sure. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Try something. Apply power and then kind of look in. See if the motor's spinning and it's just the wheel that's slipping. I don't know. There, it'll start spinning when you plug in power. Don't short it. And I gotta be careful not to back into these wires. <laughs> Not spinning. It doesn't seem to be spinning at all. The motor? Yeah. Think it's just stalled or you think it's just dead? No, it's. I'm able to push it with my finger and spin it around. But it doesn't pick up after that? Or is it on the power plug when you're doing that? Yeah, why is it doing that? Hmm. You know? I can feel the vibration in the Sounds like it's working. Just that motor. Well, you know, worst case. Uh, we can always just take this the um the turntable back out. And we could just take it back and uh, and test the motor. With the voltmeter and all that good nonsense. Yeah, I'm also thinking if it's just a standard uh, BSR type motor. Oh, so that start stop is the main power for the unit. Because no amp right now. Click it on. We got amp. There we go. Wait, do you see the tubes lighting up? No, I don't see. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. I love. I love it when tubes warm up like that. It's so awesome looking. Think you can get a shot of that on the camera? Yeah. There's the phone. Screen's very dim. Is it on video? Yeah, it's, it's already gone. It's been gone. by hand, but if I do that, we do get sound. From that little bit, the speakers sound like they're in good shape. Yeah. Now it wants to go back. What is up with that? I wonder if maybe that little thing in the back right corner has something to do with that. Turn these out of the way. I'll pull the record up and off. Do you see anything with that? Really? No, I don't. I mean, it might just be just a little decorative trim. Or this, this thing here too, but. Hmm. You know what it might be? That big center cog. 
under the mechanism. Mm -hmm. It's what's responsible for all the automated e functions of this. Yeah. I wonder if it's not properly disengaging from that. Right here, then I'll put I'll chuck two records on. This is a, another level of mech test. I'm thinking if I can just snag like a cheapo de BSR changer from like the thrift shop. So one record fell. Of course, like I said, you know that that springs have to be adjusted because you know it's not falling under its own weight. So it's being counterbalanced. I heard demon noises for a second. <laughs> if it moves it out of the way. Should drop it. That's your Slayer record. No, I didn't drop the next record. If only. I have Slayer records right now. I'm required to in the law of things not to do. <laughs> Oh, it did drop the second record. But I wonder if it's not like disengaging from that center cog properly. So that goes off. So as the mech spins, even though it's off, it's still trying to do things. So, looks like she needs a wee bit more work. A little more tuning. So if you want, we can pull that out. Uh, but can you just some did the splice. Well, it's okay. It's just it doesn't take long to do that again. Yeah, but still. And I'll leave the power splice on. Yeah, because for the main power. Right I'm gonna drop these two records. Let's see. I'll have to see if I can swing by like Charleston area thrift shops. Here's this. This is a '78. garbage <laughs> and it dropped the seven incher which is actually a record that's kind of interesting because well sort of soft what this little seven incher says semaphore eh? whistles at Cass yeah I don't know why someone would put that out but it's something related to Cass Scenic Railroad. Nice. So, mm. something local. <laughs> I wonder if that was like a souvenir record given out. Here's your phone. It's still going, by the way. Yeah, there's much. So, but I'm thinking, if I can find a cheap BSR type mech. It's just a basic AC motor, though. Oh, we might have to transfer the shaft over. Problem is that's a four-speed turntable because it's got sixteen and two-thirds. Okay. Say, Andrew, where we're heading down to. Down. Yes, mother. I'll be down eventually. All right. What even is it? I don't know, my kid. I don't care. But so, electricals were done good, thanks to you. The audio. I'm surprised the speakers were sounding that good for the brief second we had them going. Mm-hmm. You turned it up a good bit. It sounded like once it gets going, it's going to be pretty loud. Well, not loud, but good quality because these were properly designed drivers, and after sixty some odd years, still working. Fresh tubes. Have a good part playing that, I'm sure. So we can tell all the tubes are good, so you can leave a good review on the tube depot. You can run the power and you can call us back in room real quick. Yep, it is unplugged. Um, okay. Don't plug it back in until right. we get the, the tape stuff on there. I'm not going. Um, I ain't that stupid. I'm more stupid. Do you want to take the top off and do more testing? Just like women? Sure. All right. Because it's not, honestly, it's not going to be that bad getting it back. One, two, three, lift. Hold well, on. I'm not ready. I'm oh. stuffing this water back up in there. Okay. Go. Okay. Yeah, it is decently light, despite being in real wood with the exception of those shells as well. Well, something just fell. <laughs> Probably a record. But so yeah, I'm thinking I can find just a. Do you remember the, the, that Panasonic system I brought in? Yeah. 
I find myself going back to the first story that I can stab in parts from like that motor, then we might have to swap the upper part of the shaft over, if that's even possible. Again, we're at the four speeder. See, it was, it was that shaft and it was something else, but the motor, we can scavenge that from it and possibly the idler wheel because the idler wheel I think is good-ish. Only a little bit of dry rot. But... Ugh.